Hello guys! In this video we are going to talk about something really really cool that is called Embroidery Legacy Filter and this is where you can find it. It's called the Community Assets page of uh, Substance 3D and this is the place where people are uploading their, their own creations and basically you can also share whatever you created. And if you scroll down, uh, this is how it looks when you open it. And if you scroll down or uh, if you type it in the search, you can find embroidery, embroidery legacy theater. And this is something you can download. And when you go to sampler and you go to your asset, here is this little plus button. And if you click on it, you cannot see it from my head, but it's like, like here. If you uh, click on this little plus button, then you can upload this filter and then it will be available in sampler for you to use. So let's see what we can create with this filter, okay? You need a design. When you um, drag and drop the material into the viewport, you have to select use as bitmap and you click on import. And after that, you just grab this embroidery filter and drop it on the top. And you can already see that we have this really interesting looking material, but we still have to change a couple of things to be able to use it. First of all, I want to use more colors, so I change the color count to six. So now we have this nice pink material. I can change the tiling so we can see a little bit better what we are actually doing. Um, what is really cool about this filter is that you can just go back to your assets or the starter assets and you can change the material completely. For example, you can drag and drop a material to this placeholder and I will see that it will change to this blue fabric material. I really like, like this. And uh, what you can do when you see these little parts that you don't want to have, you can just change the embroidery scale and the, it, will, it will be gone. You have multiple options. You can change, for example, the orientation mode of the different colors, the angle, the haze position and, and all kind of all kind of things. Now here you can see that it changed. Now this is how it looks. Okay, so um, this is what you can do with every every color, and we have um, the opportunity to change the length and the width of the thread. So you can also play with that. So this is how it looks. Um, And um, when you're happy with uh, the material that you created, you can just simply send it to Stager. I already have a bag ready for this purpose. You can find this bag on the Substance CD Assets page. You can find a crazy amount of bags you can choose from. And they are really nice, all of them. Look at all these pockets and everything that you can just find. So you can just download the bag and then you can just play play with it in Stager. Um, I select this this part of the model, for example, this mesh. I, this is where I want to send my material to. And I just go to sample and send this material to Stager. And here you can see that we have this material. We can, of course, change the resolution to have more details. And what I like to do in case of fabric materials, I like to set the normal scale to a little bit higher so we have, uh, we have more details. Oh. I forgot to push a button. So here you can see that we need more. Yeah, like this. 
and then you can just position the material the way you would like to and here you can see all the details of the fabric there is one more thing I wanted to show you when you run into the uh, situation that uh, you would like to change uh, some part of the model that is basically like one object and it's sharing the material you can use the magic wand and with the magic wand tool you can just select a different part of parts of the model and you can apply a material material on it and now you're gonna see that how this looks and then you can just go and select another material for that part for example i want it to be leather so now you can see that it's a different material. You can change the scale. You can change the color. Let's say I want to make it red. Okay, this is a bit too red. Or oh, maybe blue is better. Resolution is a little bit higher, of course. And uh, the shortcut is E for the sample, sampler tool. And then you can just use the same material on different parts of the model. Let's say we want to create this metal, metallic. And then we can change the color of, color of it. For example, let's make it gold. So... This is... Um, this is what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you found, found it interesting. <laughs> and uh, if you create something with this filter, just tell me. I would be really happy to see. Thank you guys, see you in the next one.